start it with the Wuhan Dong. And welcome to a brand new episode of the Super Falcon Show. Now, my name is Osarame in Negbenebo, and this show, as you already know, is proudly brought to you by the number one telecommunications giant, MTN. And today's episode is dedicated to none other than ex Super Falcons midfielder, Madhu Morin. Now, I know a lot of you have been wondering what has she been up to, what has she been doing. We'll bring you all of that just a much later because that's what we do right here on the Super Falcons show. We bring you everything you need to know about current Super Falcons, ex Super Falcons, incoming Super Falcons, even the ones in their mother's wombs. Well, not necessarily that, but you get what I mean. But now we go on a quick break, and when we come back, it will be showtime. Still barred because of NIN? Visit the closest MTN office near you or scheduler.mtn.ng to book an appointment. You are still locked on to the Super Falcon Show. Now, just before we went on that quick break, we're just talking about Maureen Amadou. Now, for those of you who don't know who Maureen Madu is, she is an ex Super Falcons midfielder also an ex-Super Falcons assistant coach. She won the African Women's Championship, represented the country at the 1999 USC World Cup. At this point, you already know who Maureen Madu is. But in this interview that she had with us, the Super Falcons show team, she talks to us about things that we probably have been wondering, like what she's been up to, what has she been doing? So let's check out this interview. It's 1993, National Team, and I have my book. I have my book internationally, that Nigeria sorry, 2008, after the World Cup in China, that was when I decided not to play any more the National Team. To be honest, I didn't know I was going to be a coach. You know, in life, it's not everything we plan, go to do it. Is. I wanted to be. I know in school, I, if I had not a people, I would have been a lawyer. But uh, on that aspect, because I'm in New York and also I decided to say, okay, I'm, my, I'm going to do a business. I know as a Igbo person now, so business is like what he was calling me, but I didn't know God have another way to do So I wanted to be an importer. So not from there, my thanks to my team that saw it in me and they decided to push me and say, this is what. It's in you that you have to do. So that was how I got my breakthrough. From there, I was invited to come around and assist in my little way to be an assistant coach for my career coach in Nigeria. So from there, that has been, it has been a very good thing because uh, being a coach, sometimes people think it's, a, it's difficult and it's okay, but you can't give what you don't have. If you know what you are doing, it will be fun for you. It's when you don't know what they're doing. Maybe, you know, they say sometimes the carpenter correct with his uh, tools. So it has been good, I've been enjoying it. It's fun, and I really like it. After my contract finished with the national team, I came home to visit my sister. So on the street, I saw these uh, girls playing uh, football. I went to just to look around and see what is happening in this city. So I now saw them, they are playing, you know, like four. So I stood somewhere and looked at them. I found that, and after that, I now called them and said, Do you people have a. Uh, do you people are a good player? The man said, eh, I pretended as if I just, I'm just a normal person that comes to watch. So when I see them, they said, Oh, they don't have anybody helping them, they don't have anything in there. And I told them, Okay, I will try my best to see what I'm going to do because you people have talent. And I want to give you a platform because I know when I started, nobody gave me this. 
No one said, okay, this is what I'm doing. Let me call you Sonaka. So I was talking to the parents. I also go to, went to the television and the radio and see tell them that this is exactly what I want to do. To my greatest surprise, I was able to pick almost only like 20 kids that came to my first uh, program. So now the thing is too much for me that I can't do it again. That's why I'm pleased and calling to come to all these companies that really want to help my junior football and the girl child to please come to my aid and help because I can't do it alone anymore. Well, Marimadu has been up to quite a lot lately, and we are super, super, super proud of her. Now, speaking of all the things she's been up to, you heard her talk about the Kiddies FC, that is the Kiddies Academy. Now, that academy is something that I would have loved to have as a child. But anyways, let's check out what these kids have got to say. My name is Amanda and I am 8 years old. I live in Oka and I'm Brass State. I like playing football because I want to be a footballer. I'm 14 years old. Why I joined Molin Cup is to learn how to play my ball very well. And I've learned so many things and I'm also I appreciate it. I've learned how to kick and trap, so thank you, Maureen and Mark, for this opportunity. I thank God for Maureen and Maroka for, uh, for doing all this thing for us. My state is Imo State. I like to play football. I like football. I come this camp for learning something about football. My aim of coming here is to learn how to be a good footballer. I want to reach the extent that Maureen and Mark attain. And I want to be greater than her. I love football too. And uh, I thank her for the opportunity she gave me to expose my talent. And I want to thank Maureen Mother for the opportunity she gave to us. We love her. My name is Isika Chigozaki. I am 15 years old. I love, I love to play football. I like so many things and, and I learn so many things. I love Coach Maureen Madu. He's very nice. He's a very nice person and I love her so much. My name is Oyen Nam Shidema. I'm happy for being here for this camp because it's my first time of being in a football camp like this. And I thank Ms. Maureen Mad for giving us the opportunity, for being able to sponsor us. Now those kids are super, super smart. When I was that age, I was a baller myself. Oh. Who is a sister to Shoala now? I've been there, boy, but it's not, don't worry, we'll leave that conversation for another day. Now, that's the much you can take on today's episode of the MTN Super Falcon Show. Now, remember not to forget that this show airs also on MTN's Ayoba app. Now, we we'll leave you with some of the goals that the Flamingos scored at the ongoing Women's Under-17 World Cup in India. It's driven low and into the corner. Really fine strike from Miracle Usani. And for the second time in this tournament, Nigeria go ahead. In by Usani, and it finds its way through. Athalabi. Oh, magnificent. And this hesitation. And it could lead to a fourth, and it's a delightful goal. 